all the reports of snakehead attacks on humans concern just one species, the giant snakehead. Like many people here, Sombat lives by the water and often encounters these aggressive fish. Oh, God, me. What happened was that uh, he needed to swim underneath his raft to replace some of the bamboo. It gets a bit rotten. It's as he's fixing his raft that Sombat senses something behind him. With nowhere to hide, he's face to face with a giant snakehead. It actually put its fins out, a bit like an elephant, when an elephant is, is threatening to charge. Before Sombat can move, the fish has savaged his foot. It was actually bleeding so bad that he went to the hospital. The people there didn't believe that it was a fish that was responsible. They thought it was a dog and actually ended up giving him rabies jabs. So, I mean, what we've got here is a very you know, dramatic example of what appears to be a completely unprovoked attack. Sombat's story proves to me that a giant snakehead will attack something far bigger than itself. It seems to be a fish that really does punch well above its weight. Like its cousin, the bullseye, the giant snakehead is an ambush predator that favours areas with plenty of cover. For several hours, I work the banks and shallow bays of the dam without getting so much as a nibble. Fishing for snakeheads here is a world away from Florida, where the hits came thick and fast. With Sombat's story still fresh in my mind, I send a lure towards an abandoned raft. Oh, yes! Whee! A giant snakehead. Woo! This fish is only one-tenth the size of a full-grown adult, but it's certainly got some attitude. <laughs> Very toothy. I wonder if I can just get my hand in there. Its snake-like appearance has led to the belief in some places that this fish has a poisonous bite. Fortunately, this simply isn't true. That is, uh, yeah, that is a bit of a toothy critter. Although it's got a fierce reputation, quite a, a beautiful fish, really.